lunch today so that I have one commissioner uh, needing to leave around two, but also we have an executive session, and I think the auditor- well, They had a meeting with the district heads. Right, at noon. Okay. So they won't be here. They won't be here, so. But Ginger will can be here, right? Right, county judge, purchasing agent, and I will need to go to a meeting at noon over at the district court's building. Right, at noon. At noon. Okay. <coughs> All right, but anyway, what we would like to do is put an offer to maybe work through lunch today and maybe order some pizza in at those who are interested. And we'll just uh, start up a little, put in a little pot and have that ordered. And uh, I think Julian is going to help us with that effort. And then once it arrives, we'll just have a maybe a break for about 20 minutes, break, and then have lunch, and then uh, continue on with the, uh, with the process. And hopefully, that time, I think the county judge and auditor, along with purchasing, can, can move and do what they need to do with the district courts. And, uh, we can move forward with our executive session as well. So those who are interested, what, right time, what time are you planning on ending today? Around two o'clock. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we can be. I think we can probably obtain it, Carrie, uh, given the outlay of what we have left. Is there an issue that, uh... okay. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the suggestion. So those who are interested, I'll start the, uh, the collection Give box. Give me your money. You'd have to write a little, oh, you move Take credit card. Take credit card. <laughs> okay. I'll take your credit card. Let's go shopping. <laughs> um, Carrie, we do have a Constable Jackson with us, so we can start with the Constable budgets to finish that up. So, we can have a little just deliver this to Julie. No All right, we'll uh, go ahead and reconvene at 1041. The auditor kind of switched the funds. So I think we have Constable Jackson with us this morning, and those are the last budgets that we need to vet through. So okay. Would you like to go ahead and come up to the court, the podium? Um, Carrie, which spreadsheet are we on? Are we on Constable 1 or are we starting on, on? Constable 4. 4, okay. Um, 68 on the work work papers. 68. Um, yes, sir. All right. Morning. Morning, how are y'all? Morning. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh -huh. Right. I think the conversation we wanted to address was on the uh, software. Yeah, we saw a couple, well, a couple of things, and um, there were questions on several of the constable budgets, but um, only certainly only speak to what you feel appropriate to speak to, um, and we'll have to proceed and make decisions accordingly. But uh, one of them was on the. Is it software line item, Carrie? I'm trying to remember. Subscription. Uh, subscriptions. Subscriptions. Yeah. And we saw varying amounts across constables of the subscription line item. And I think we've used that from a constable perspective of 
uh, your license on several of the software, the cop sync, some right. constables have error cards listed, some have ac Accurant, some have the LexisNexis, but we have varying amounts. Okay. Um, so what we're trying to do is maybe think through if there's a set amount mm -hmm. that is appropriate for the constables where you're using that as your discretion for your software that you need. But from a court's perspective, we have budgeted a set amount and we're leaving it up to you to run your division as appropriate. Correct, correct. Well, to my knowledge, the, uh, the other custom, constables and I, we got together in regards to that. And I thank myself and Constable Duvall. As a matter of fact, he just walked in. We both have that t layers. I believe uh, the other constables didn't receive that subscription. I think that's probably what, if our budget is a little bit over than the, the other budget is probably why I really can't remember what the other constables have on theirs, but if that's the, that may be what caused ours to go over that amount. What amount do you Constable have, Constable? Constable 1 has 2700 okay. 2700 for Constable 1, mm -hmm. and Constable 2 has 1700 Okay. And then I have 3 at 3000 and then obviously at yours, 3750. Okay. So we're really struggling with a consistent line item. Right, right. Because um, I think the vision that we at least discussed last year when we took on the cop sync application right. was there would be consistency across the constables um, in terms of the applications that you use to do your job. Okay. So we're looking for some guidance in terms of that subscription line item. Okay. Of what would be appropriate, uh, an appropriate request that should be transferable across constables. Okay, now the, hey constable, how you doing? Now, the, like I said, the T-legs is, is, a, is, a, is actually an item that we definitely need because we have to submit our training. Now, the reason the other constables didn't requ uh, request that, I, I don't have any knowledge of that. And also the, which one where we look up uh, for locations, what, what subscription is that one? Uh, Lexus Nexus, and I don't know if Constable Jackson uh, requested yeah. that as well, but that was all part of last year's item as well. Well, in my case, the Lexus Nexus and the top sink, their car all that was combined, that took a $2,000 case. Right. Yeah, that was just an estimate for mine, so 37 50. And so what we're saying is we're seeing variations across constables, some at 1700 some at 3000 1500 and so we're looking for some consistency sure. yeah. in that line item. Commissioner, if I may, on that LexNexus, uh, uh, if, if one constable has it, then we can all share off that other constable. That's why I didn't put it on my budget, because no. okay. I don't think there's a need for all four of us to have it. So if he has it or she has it, then I can just share off hers. So that's why I didn't put it on mine, because yeah, I don't so need it. It's all paid through one account. Right. It's carried into uh, So we can't no, look across that. that and, uh, we, we actually have three of you set up, uh, I believe everyone except Constable yes. Maurice Jackson. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's $85 a month for the other three. So if I'm hearing you, we don't need all three of you set up. We can set up one. I, I, well, my knowledge, I use mine quite a bit. Three, sure. four is pretty active, and, and that's how I search for my, my people. So, I mean, that's why I requested it. Yeah. I, I definitely do. So. Right. And I believe if you don't have the service, you have to have someone else do the lookup for you. Right. You don't have the access to do it yourself, correct? Right. You have to call now, someone else. How does that work? How does that work? Just trying, I'm trying to think in my head logistically as far as if, if one of you have it or go to say if two of you have it, mm -hmm. the other two, if you need to utilize that, you'll have to you uh, get in contact with the council right. and, and share it using right. So. How, how does that work through that? I mean, is it something that uh, sort of delays the process of, of you if you didn't have it on hand? And how much do you, you actually utilize that? If you want to answer that? You go ahead. Well, if you don't have it, I mean, if it's not, then, for example, my office is way out west. Mm -hmm. If I needed to use it, I would have to physically come in to a computer it's here to be able to access it. Okay. Um, well, Council Jackson, you mentioned that you don't have it, you didn't curve have it, but if you needed to, you, you would just share it. Exactly. So how would you share it? Do you physically have to be in the same location, or can you make a phone call to, for them to look up I something? I just go to their office. My precinct doesn't do as, as much volume as far as what the other precinct has. To me, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's a need for that. I can always either pick up a phone and call Constable Jackson or Constable Warren and say, look, I need to look up this person, see where they at, a good address. 
That's why I didn't have it. I don't, they don't need that. I don't, I don't have the volume that they have. Yeah, basically. It, it's, a skip, it's also a skip placing system. It allows us to be able to find people. Right. right? So and a lot of times when we're doing, when we're doing, let's say, rents of possession or, or serving papers, a lot of those people have warrants. Mm. All right? And we can't check them without going into the database and being able to get background information on them, such as date of birth and that kind of thing. Uh, because that, that paper is not carried in, in, in the sense on the civil side of information. Okay. So we do that so that we can cross check those people so we can we can basically get those people that have criminal problems off the street. Yeah. And, and that's the other it's something huge <laughs> yeah, well, What kind of documentation do you keep when you're using that service and uh, as of what kind of results do you get as a result of it? I myself don't, I mean, I, I just use it constantly, but I, yeah, it's not it's something that I keep a, a, log a, a log on. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you keep a log book on it? Pardon? Why wouldn't you keep a log on it so you why know? Why keep a log on sure, it? Sure, so you know what. Uh, well, Lexus Nexus, keep up with how, how often do you use it. But Lexus Nexus. Well, I'm talking about when you, when you ask for somebody uh, uh, and you get a, a hit on it, mm -hmm. do you not uh, tell you what the results might be in that end? We don't Whether get you hit on somebody or you know, we don't get hit on hit on. What we're doing is we're getting the Location. information to run that to be able. To, you can't. Oh, let me get my let me get my final question. How many arrests have you made off of that? So it's not a, <laughs> I probably made seven or eight. Possible words makes a lot. A lot. I make I make I make a lot. I make a lot. Well, she makes a lot. I guess yeah, the, we, the, we the make final. arrests, but that the point is we're trying to locate these people. And these people, in order to get them served or to make an arrest, it ain't just to arrest them, it's also to get them, get them served. Well, that's why a log might be, might be, it also, uh, might enhance your uh, uh, use for the product. Yeah, and it also allows us to run backgrounds, for example, on, um, if we're going out to serve a writ, you know, seize property or whatever, we want to know if that person's do. violent, if they have a criminal, right. a criminal history, and that gives us the background information to no, be able to go into the T labs be able to, to find that information. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of kind of using that and forth together. I guess I'm confused because prior to this year, we've only had $600 budgeted in that line item um, historically. So I'm confused in terms of what we need. Well, that's for, a little bit of a misleading question, though. I was definitely on that one. Uh, well, Prior to this year, I mean, last year, we haven't had a, a very active, comfortable. I, I would agree, and we have now. and I would say what we committed to as a court when we purchased Cop Sync is we obviously committed to supporting the Cop Sync and what that subscription might look like. How much is the subscription or the maintenance for just the Cop Sync? I don't know. Their air card is forty dollars a month, and that's what's being charged to their subscription account, but. But I don't know that there's a monthly fee for yes, cop sync. Is there? For the cop sync, it's eleven hundred dollars for for the cop sync. And then a forty dollar air card. A month. Right. But I believe that Jason has budgeted for the annual fee in his software. That's, okay. That was going to be my next question. So that's already in your budget. The the uh, cop sync. Is the air card in your budget as well, or that will fall in there? So the air card is 480 for a year. Right. So if the cop sync is already in the IT budget, I think I'm even more confused by the dollar amount that's being requested for the maintenance of these the other. I wasn't aware that that was going to be in the IT budget. Okay. So we put it on our budget. We wasn't aware that that was going to be on their, I mean, a pool on their budget. Okay. So we have to make sure we have it. Yeah, that, so that's fair because that's a new yeah. kind of transition that we're trying to do this year. So that, that's absolutely fair. So what, knowing that information now, what would be an appropriate line item for that, for your subscriptions? Well, we still have to definitely have our Lexus Nexus and we uh, t -Lens. Myself, Darren Ward. Uh, uh, and you said Lexus Nexus yeah. was how yeah, much a month, Carrie? $85 a month per constable. 85? Yes, sir. Okay. And then the other one you mentioned? T-Legs. T-Legs. Is that a month? It allows us to, to submit our training to the T-Code, to, the to our, our training. 
How much is that? I didn't even write that down. So is that not something that you could use with what the, how the sheriff submits their training? It's separate. It's totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. We got And you need an application to submit your training, uh, a, a software application versus like faxing your certificate. Started what was a couple years ago? Yeah. Unless we have to pay thirty-five each training that we receive, we have to pay thirty-five dollars to get that submitted every time we submit our training. Having that software allows to submit and seal your stuff. And is that new? Did you start that this year? That's all we, I started this year. This year, okay. And, and it, how much, I'm sorry, go ahead. Equals has gone paper. All right. And if you submit anything by, by paper, it's like $35. $35 yeah. fee. Fee for everything you submit. And each, each one of us are, by law, a separate agency. So we, we can't submit through one, one, one person. So we have to submit separately. So it's just, it's economically better to just have the account. Then you can go back and forth, get it, submit paperwork, uh, bring up training now, all that kind of thing. And I'm just looking to carry, I don't know if we pay an annual subscription to that. It's an annual. It's annual. For the. Right. It looks like maybe it was 145 last year, but I don't know. One, 145 last year, does that sound correct? So 145 for the whole year. So that would put us at approximately 1585, 1585, knowing that CopSync is now under the IT umbrella, that expense. Carrie, am I following that correctly in terms of that? Well, I'm coming up with 1645. Okay. 1645. Uh, 1645. Yes. And I noticed that um, a couple of our constables have also purchased law books, and this is the account that would come out to. I don't know how often y'all need to update those. That's a yearly bill as well. It's annual. Okay. Civil stuff. Civil, 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 civil part. They update that on a yearly basis as well. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit more. And how would that be different, the purchase of law books, than the law books that we currently have and the subscriptions that we currently have that we just talked about at the law library, like access to those? Well, for them to have access, they would have to physically go to the law library, and I, I don't know that that would be feasible. We receive a subscription on a yearly basis on all the new laws on when you're dealing with the civil process. And it's a couple of books that we... Uh, Purchase on a yearly basis, and that's why they come out there with subscriptions. And it's, it's geared towards constables only. So that's why we utilize that subscription. Purchase that book to stay up there. I noticed that one of the constables has requested a tactical vest and a ballistic helmet. Can you uh, tell us why y'all have it? Yeah, we all we all have our tactical stuff because now we're doing more more of a, a, an arrest once. Now we're going out finding these people at their house, and so that's just a safety concern, a safety item that we all and have. How often do you do we, those kind uh, of things? Always have body armor. I don't I don't use a tactical helmet. Yeah, but the others do. And and again, uh, dealing with writs on evictions, possession, we deal with a lot of people that have serious issues. Uh, you know, beyond the fact that they're just being, uh, you know, thrown out of property. And, uh, uh, I just a basically was, are, a lot of those people are violent. Yeah, I was comparing it to. Uh, wear that equipment. I was comparing it to our local uh, deputies in our uh, in our uh, law enforcement offices for the city. I don't think any of them have. Well, that's that, that's that's well, we make a mistake. We're not like we're not like the other deputies. That's we're, we're our own department. We do things. We, we, I understand we do that differently. Uh, however. They, they answer the same kind of calls, but well, they don't have this kind of equipment. Yeah, I get, well, I yeah, yeah, they do. I know they all got body armor. Yeah. Well, sure. No, they, I don't question the body armor. They've all got tactical armor. Carbines. They can all make tactical entry. Whether or not they have helmets, I can't speak to that. Like I said, I don't personally use one, but it's kind of silly. If you know you're going out and you're going to deal with somebody that's got a mental problem, it's violent, and may have a felony history, 
it's kind of silly not to be ready to have, uh, you know, uh, the, the proper force necessary if this thing slides, slides you know, uh, out of control. And, and unfortunately, that's what we, we deal with a lot of those kinds of people. Uh, it's just, uh, it just makes good sense, you know. But again, I said, I have my you know, I don't, I can't speak to I have why that particular council is wanting to What's the what's the life cycle on that? On um, that tactical type type of you, you speak. I believe a, I believe your your vest is five years, if not my okay. correct. And the vest that I currently wear, I received from from the service office prior to my departure, and mine is expiring this year. So they, I, I definitely need a new vest. They have a five year. The manufacturer says they have a five year lifespan. And you requested the armor vest, not the tactical yeah, vest. Not the, not the, um, Okay. So what's the difference between the armored vest and the tactical vest? Is tactical it just covers vest. more part of the uh, body? For example, most officers wear conceivable body armor. I, I, I don't have to have it on. I have a, a, a tactical vest, which is basically, it's an outside vest. It's the vest that's worn over the outside. And uh, it's just a matter of preference. Uh, Obviously, safety dictates that you really should wear the vest all the time. Right. If you don't, it's somewhat foolish. But that's an individual decision. Uh, but you have to have it under certain circumstances. And I think what that constable is asking is that for is, is plus the tactical vest has a higher level of protection than the standard conceivable body. They tend to be rated higher uh, for. You ranging officers might want to make somebody yeah. raise their I think that's you, Constable. Yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. That's I, right. I've got, uh, if I'm not making sense, I, I have two two ears that are, have infections going. It's difficult for me to hear, so I'm kind of hearing that. Yeah. I'm off of it. That's why. That's why. No, okay. So, um, what do you, you mean, you had any more questions? Um, I, I do just have another question on back to the subscription. So I'm, st I'm just confused hearing that this is the state in which we operate today, and there's only $600 in the existing budget. I guess my question is, how are they making, they in the broader sense, but how are they making do with 600 if all of those things are already happening today? We actually have a couple of them that they're, account, their specific account is in the negative, but their category is approved, has funds to cover it, so their uh, stationary and supplies money is being used to cover it. So the 1500 from stationary supplies has been used to offset that correct difference. Correct. And so, well, um, do you categorize in terms of true stationary and supplies what has been used to date? Yes, we try to. Okay, um, because is that fair to use that same model? Currently you have 1500 budgeted, I mean you're doing this today, I'm hearing, but you have 1500 for budgeted for stationary and supplies um, to push some of that to your subscriptions. Because quite honestly, I mean that wasn't, vetted out during the last budget cycle and I find myself in a unique situation because you're already using the software. Um, so we definitely don't want to take away functionality that you have, but we need to balance that in the budget. So uh, my question is on the stationery and supplies, I would be looking to move some of those dollars to your subscription line item to offset that increase that you're asking for. And I'm hearing it should be around $2,000. That's fair. Budget, yeah. But because the reason why we bought it fifteen hundred initially on that uh, on that it's because everybody's because new. We, mm -hmm. office, we needed items to uh, be able to fill our office. So, I mean, you have to move that. That's why we need yeah. those subscriptions. We definitely need to utilize in order to. Uh, so even if we moved a thousand and left five hundred in that line good. item for just your normal pens, papers, that type of thing. I, I'm looking at Carrie to keep me honest in terms of what has been spent, though. My main concern is how often do y'all have to replenish, uh, like 
warrants or, or any citation books. I'm not sure what all supplies you have. Right, because some of those printed documents are fairly high. That should be more than adequate. That should be enough. 500 should yeah, cover it. Because everything we do, we, we, that's what the cops think, everything now is all paperless. We have a little smart oh, print on okay. cars, so we can eliminate some of the duplication process, so that should be a fine. Now that's for, that's, you, when you say 500 should be enough, is that for uh, uh, stationary, stationary supplies, and supplies only, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Not yes sir. No, that thousand difference, moving that thousand to the subscriptions that only has 600 in it today, because that's what's happening today. They're moving that money. Right. You're talking about stationary supplies? Yes, sir. Because say, stationary supplies is where basically all our operating equipment comes from. You know, that's right. Where, uh, if, uh, you know, if I have a spot well, like, spot right a there, printer. A break, I, I got to purchase that on uh, stationary supplies. Uh, it's higher than some bucks. Uh, you know, ammunition for training has to come out of stationary supplies. The uh, uh, replacement of gear. It just wears out. It has to come out of stationary supplies. So it's probably it's probably, it's probably, comes out of it's, it's probably fair to say that each constable is not going to have the same in their budgets, regardless of whether it's stationary or subscription, or at least in subscriptions. Well, they should have the same dollar amount at least. I mean, at a minimum. If they're all equal as far as part, they've all. Uh, but even if we plan for two thousand, that should cover. Those that use yes. Lexus, Nexus, and yeah. those that don't. Even if we plan for 2,000, that should cover yeah, them all so. across the yes, board. And the effort is just to try to keep you consistent. So as we look yes, at it year from year, um, we're able to really kind of follow what's happening. Yes, ma'am. And with the yes, um, cop sync move to IT, I feel like 2,000 might be enough to cover it. Think that'd be enough? Yeah. Two thousand. Now that works. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. Precinct two doesn't use flex nexus. Or no, I share. Just, I just share because to save to save you know taxpayers money. I just share. Is that uh, is that uh, pretty well feasible to, to do yes, that? Uh, so far as working. I just, I just this phone call away from them. Cost before right? uses it quite a bit. Oh yeah. Exactly. And also, Constable One. And Constable One used it quite a bit. Yes, sir. Constable Three. Yeah, I use it. Uh, uh, but again, I don't have the volume. Of that one. Right. So Constable Four and Four and and One use it quite often. So oh, Constable yeah. Three uses it. Fairly decent, but yes, sir. Okay. Well, um, I use it, but we're, we're talking about, about uh, LexisNexis. Right? Yes, 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 sir. Okay, so I use it, but also the, the court uses it as well. They, they uh, might, might give that information over to the court to look for new addresses on people. And, uh, for example, like uh, unattended deaths where they're trying to find uh, okay. relatives, and they, they get you to put it Okay, thanks. But I so think if we indicate budget 2, them, across the board. yeah, if we budget them across the board, it's at least available yeah. to whoever would like to use them, and we're being consistent with the fiscal policy to support them however they'd like to use that. So 2,000, uh, I'm hearing, I know uh, Council before you have a little bit of a, a little consternation on your face. Do you think that's, uh, is that adequate? Commissioner, uh, uh, now I'll be back with questions, but... <laughs> It should cover it. It should, should cover it. Uh, I definitely okay. have to have my license next to Right. And, and if they're covering top sink, we'll do it. Okay. Um, on the uniform. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, okay. And that covers all that, too. The description, the books, right. and the novels, yes, and all that. That um, umbrella. Okay. Okay. On the uniforms, we also saw varying amounts. I think last year we put in a thousand, if I remember right. Um, obviously, to support the new constables coming in and what they might need. And I saw some varying amounts of increases. I was expecting to see this go down a little this year, so I was surprised to see it go up. Everything commercial has went up as far as uh, uniforms, pants, shirts, it's, it's, it's across the board. Everything has, has went up. 
Yes, she's on. She's gone up and it, they're not doing it. I mean, that's six months. You'd be looking to get some more pants. I mean, so is a thousand adequate in that fund? That's what we planned the first year when y'all took office. Was the thousand? Yeah, that's fine. What about you, Tom? How much you got? Yeah, that, that should be sufficient. A thousand? I mean, because I mean, you, you, you give what you pay for. Of course, I, I love to, I love to represent my department to the best of my ability. So I can't go out looking like a rag doll. I take pride in my appearance. So I think. How that much does a, uh, uh, a total outfit uniforms cost? It all depends, Mesh. If you want to get the uh, if you want to get the, the blush, if you want to get the polyester blend mesh with the with the silk, it all depends. Cotton wool. It all depends on what you prefer. I don't do polyester because my skin won't take it. So I've got to do something else. Do you have like a summer and a, a, a really fun would be probably for middle grade pants, 50 bucks. Yeah, probably middle answer. grade shirt, 50 bucks. A jacket is, is three to $400. Uh, it just goes up when you start getting into, into the wool yeah. or things that are you know, attached to, to that, that get expensive. All well, those things are only one one time a year. Those jackets, exactly. Yes, sir. One time. Yes, sir. Thousand should be out. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm hearing a thousand on the uniform design item. Yeah. Okay. And then the only other discrepancies that we saw was on the education and travel. I'm following as you're moving through there. Um, Carrie, fifteen hundred one and two plan and then three I have two thousand on education and travel and um, same on four the other constables have fifteen hundred which is typically fifteen hundred is kind of a threshold that we use for the continuing education is that right Carrie fifteen hundred is that figure that we it traditionally is. look at yes it is. however we are seeing a lot of increase in hotel rooms hotel rooms. In all the departments yes uh, okay. Okay, so fifteen hundred for education and travel. And they're really split. One and two have fifteen hundred requested, and three and four have two thousand requested. How often do you uh, attend these uh, uh, continuing educations as far as on an annual basis? Um, we're all typically, different. I look for education. I do a lot of training, me personally. And, and the other constables may not, so I do travel a lot. Anything that I think, feel that can assist me to further better my job, I attend. Now, we have an upcoming uh, training in Austin in February. I continue the civil part of our 20 hours. We have to fly there. We have our state uh, conference that's coming in, in the summer. It's going to be at, at uh, what's Padre. Padre Island. I plan on attending that. And flights. I think what has happened uh, this year with the education and, and travel is that we had, a, had to go to Odessa recently and for five days it was over a thousand dollars. That's what kind of wiped us out. Uh, besides that, we should have been okay. That Odessa trip by being, I guess, booming with oil right now, it kind of took a big lick to our budget. Like I said, you know, for just five days in the hotel was over a thousand dollars, and that's what kind of hurt us a little bit. But we don't, we don't, we don't per se see any more of those trips till death anytime soon. Yeah, and unfortunately, we don't get to pick the, the, the okay. vacations that they have these at, and right. they don't have anything in West Texas. We require travel, but generally, they're to Okay. So, an average of uh, let's just say, try to throw it out, two. Uh, Travel or continuing educations per year? Is that about two? That's about two. It's about that. It's about every year there's you know different requirements on travel. Like they said, the midland, the continuing education, like, we're you. not required to do this other company year. But that'll be coming up. Would it be the year after? Because every two years we have to attend that particular training. So it's different training that, that comes about. So we just can't pretty much say. Yeah, there's, there's training literally attached to everything we do, even when we go to the, I go to the West Texas Constable, uh, yes, sir. Justice for the Peace Association uh, conference every year. There's, 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 that's what we go there for, right? Okay. And, uh, everything changes very quickly because a lot of what we do rests with 
Uh, basically, the, the, the changing laws to bring the civil war to the state to change faster than the criminal side. Sure. Okay. Well, I think in terms of consistency, Commissioner Kelly and I certainly would, would agree with consistency and, and keeping it um, a very concrete as most department commissioners were all consistent in terms of our travel as well. So a uh, 2,000, I think, is what we've indicated. Now, that would, incre that would indicate a little bit of a bump for one and two mm -hmm. that didn't specifically sure. request that. Um, but really to speak to the policy to keeping them all equal and having all opportunity. Don't use it. That's fine. Okay. That seems fair. Uh, that's fair. Additional 500. Yes, sir. That's, that's more than fair. Okay. 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 Would you mind just scrolling through uh, just one more time, Carrie, since, uh, yeah, one and two. Is this close to the one? I think, yep. Yeah. Um, that, oh, no, I'm sorry, you got, you got it corrected. That's fine. Okay. Were you able to see what you needed? I'm sorry? Were you able to see what you needed? Yes, I was just um, looking through one more time. Mm -hmm. All right. Just, uh, my auto expense went up a little bit this, this, this coming budget, but my, my vehicle is getting really long in the tube. And I drive more miles than the other and constables. Agree. Just, that's, that's just where we are. Yeah. And if I may, I think Constable Warch, I, I think his vehicle is off in the shop right now. And it's, I mean, it's, every time he turns it on, it's just knocking real bad stuff. So it, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to address the court at some point in time for another vehicle because it's almost out. It's like we got this new equipment in these old cars. It's not going to last too much long. I'm fine, by the way. I mean, I'm, I'm good. But we got two vehicles that are in good shape. One is suspect and one is, uh, but, huh? Mine's suspect as well. That's all right. And I think, and I think the other company, he's not sure if, if his can be, I think it's in the shop right now at the Ford house. Trying to figure out if it can be fixed or not, so and it's going to cost quite a bit to get that get his back working properly. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think he has enough in his budget to get it repaired the right way. So he's just once again at the mercy of the courts to get his car fixed. Okay, but I wish we could do a if I may, I wish we could do a, some type of a, a system where we we take the worst car out of all four precincts, and then that year. That constable would be given that, that car, I and mean, then we just rotate, you know, every every budget year. So, oh. so they kind of want to take a, such a huge hit on, on vehicles. Pull that a little bit closer to you, or he's not kind of. Okay, I was saying that if we could do it, if we could take out of all four constables' uh, vehicles, if it's possible that we can get the worst vehicle of our fleet, and then just for that budget year, award that constable the new car, and then. It, it just falls down every every other year. Recycles. The worst car would be would be repaired or, or replaced. Not all four new cars at one time. That's just that's just that's kind of crazy. But if we could if we could just get one vehicle, you know the the worst one, out of our fleet, and then every two every three years, just rotate them out. Well, one thing that I'd encourage you to do because we we had to kind of tackle a similar conversation with fire and rescue several yes, years ago when we were looking at the fleet of the v, uh, the trucks, is um, put that to paper and and yes, look at your whole fleet and it shouldn't be difficult with you know four vehicles but yes, put that to paper and make that part of your budget planning process. Yes, ma'am. So at least you're presenting that to the court. Not that there's anything that we can certainly do that fiscal year, but we can at least kind of take a lay of the land. Yes, of what that might be looking for upcoming years. Sounds good. Um, because we use a similar model for the sheriff uh, sure. and for road and bridge and fire and rescue and, and even facilities maintenance, those that have vehicles, anytime we're able to get the big picture around that, I think is helpful for the court. So those yes, items don't surprise them that budget year. We'll do it. So just a word of advice that has been helpful, I think. Yes, ma'am. We'll do it next. I'll, I will send you a form that we use in the other departments. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Certainly, we understand if uh, 
you're in one and it just completely goes on the brink, then certainly we need to be aware of that as soon as possible. Yep. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Appreciate y'all's what y'all do, y'all service and community. Thank you. Thank you. I, Thank you. Uh, I apologize for my appearance. I didn't expect to come before the court today. You look fine. But I'm not serving. Uh, serving the people as we should. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Y'all ready to tackle the capital projects fund? Yes. Next. Where we left off over there? Did you save the biggest for last, Carrie? Is that what you? <laughs> yes. The the only other one left is our insurance fund. So this is the the big one. So this eight hundred thousand that you have slotted here, this is the um, case management software system that we've been discussing. Correct. And the 300,000 will fall into a fund balance of some type, is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that will follow the same RFP and vetting process that the court will be involved and cuz that will obviously get over the million dollar threshold. So I want to make sure right. I think it will depend on how the company we go with is organized. It may be on state contract, but certainly it will be coming back to the court. Okay. It just may not have to go out on formal bid. Is that yeah. correct, David? Because Commissioner Church and I both sit on that LDAP committee, and, and I would agree with you, Commissioner, a comment you made earlier about, uh, I think, a proposal that was made last week is, I wasn't aware of that either in terms of kind of where that vendor came from other than there was the presentation at the court. Um, so I would echo a similar concern that you had. And the dollar amount we're talking about obviously would speak to that too, but. Okay, the million and a half is just kind of a carryover with the projects that we have pending. We weren't sure if we were going to need to purchase land or uh, build on existing properties that we own. Uh, like I say, that's just kind of a, a contingency. Okay, and we had that budgeted last year, the one five? We did, yes. And we did end up using a little bit of that for the uh, land at the fire station. The for fire the fire station. Okay. And the balance of that, does that get rolled into a fund balance as well? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, anything that we don't spend will fall into the fund balance. On the capital side? Correct. Okay. And I believe we're currently at about a, a seven, uh, probably just under $7 million fund balance in that fund. Okay. The 750, I carried that over from last year, and that's when we thought that we may st actually get started on a project with the district court's building. Uh, like I say, I just carried it over, not knowing for sure where we're going this upcoming year. Uh, that's all that's under the construction portion of it. Okay. The 1.4 million that you see under the Santa Fe building is the elevator project. I just rounded it up. I think it was actually 1.394. Okay. So that line item does not include any of the capital projects that Mike proposed. That's just the elevator. That's just the elevator. Okay. The 700,000 is a carryover from last year as well for the fire station that they're currently working on. So I have a question on that, Carrie. What, would we rebudget for that again this year or would we just use what was brought over? Like with that fund balance for lack of work, for lack of a better word. Right. You can use the fund balance to fund it, but we have to have a budget to be able to charge our expenditures. Okay. It doesn't have to be new money coming into the fund. Okay, Does that, that makes make sense. sense. Okay. Okay, uh, this 500000 under contract services for the court's building was for any architect fees or anything on the projects that we're, we're looking at right now as well. Those are architect fees for the projects we're currently looking at? Correct. Architects, uh, surveyors, anything else, any other... Uh, contractor that we needed to bring in. And was this a carryover from last year? It is. Mo most of this fund is carryover. Okay. 
And would that be new money or that's just a straight carryover? I believe we've spent a little bit of that. Would you look up uh, 400? Mike may know right off the top of his head. Mike, do you recall if we had to pay architects us anything? I think we did. Out of the We'll get that for you okay. here in just a minute. Uh, and the last line item is also a carryover. Uh, it's if we had any building maintenance type items, uh, not new construction or whatever, just repairs on the building along with any of the feasibility studies or, or whatever. And like I say, it is also a carryover from last year. And I believe. I don't have a copy of the proposed budget, but I, I believe that I had put in there like a, a this. well, I just wanted to see, I think we had a, a $3 million transfer into the fund this year. Yes, we did show uh, three million of new money being moved into that. Uh, part to cover new expenditures, but part to build that fund balance for when we do start our project so that we don't have to finance quite as much, similar to what we did with the courthouse. So you moved three million into, is that right? That's what I have requested. I requested to move three million For in. this year, yes. We've only spent about 5000 of that 500000 this year. Okay. So where are we at in terms of our um, kind of cover sheet of our proposed budget, our deficit amount with what's still in there, which I think is the majority. General fund, uh, we're a deficit of four hundred and eighty-one thousand nine hundred and thirty-two dollars. And is that um, already allocating any of the equipment or purchases requested in this fiscal year, or that's not including any of that? Right. Uh, the only thing that has been pulled out were the things that that you we're specifically okay. said to pull out. Yes. So I think the biggest impact on that would have been the case management software that was 400000 So that obviously looked right. very different yesterday morning when we started. Yes, I believe it started out at $1.1 million. $1.1 million. And when we closed budget workshop last year, kind of moving to the proposed to the adopted budget, I'm trying to remember this dollar amount. I know I asked this yesterday too, but I want to... Yeah, I, I think it was four hundred and about four hundred and sixty-five thousand. Okay. I know in the last several years, when we come to the budget process, we have taken money that's available in the current year and purchased equipment. I don't know if y'all are interested in doing that to try to get a balanced budget this year. Uh, we have. So we've got, uh, in order to, to do that, we have a, way of, uh, a little over a million. 
right? Uh, Ginger and I have looked through our existing accounts and budget that's available, and we could probably spend a million dollars on equipment this year if you chose to do that. Of course, that will decrease the fund balance. The three million that's projected to go in, that will impact that? Is, am I following you correctly? Well, no, we expect, <clears throat> excuse me, we expect the general fund to grow by between 800 and 1.2 million. So whatever you spend now will reduce that amount where we may remain even with our fund balance rather than growing the general fund balance. And the general fund is the 17 million? Correct. Okay. But we still do expect the 3 million to roll into the capital projects. That's that, what's currently that, in there. Right. That's strictly at your discretion, but that is what I plugged into the proposal. Okay. So what we can do this year, uh, uh, so over a million and have it costed for this year and uh, without... Because okay. what we... I, I think that might be a good next step, Commissioner, to kind of vet through the equipment and those requests because um, in all fairness to the other departments, we've not looked at any of the other proposed uh, positions that are being requested um, other than they were netted out um, than the four that we spoke to yesterday. So I'm not sure if that will be back on for discussion, um, but at least want to give it its time in court. Um. How do y'all want to pursue? You want to pursue with the equipment, looking at that outlay first, and then uh, sure. okay. let's do that. Okay. I'm going to have to leave in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and ask Ginger to start. Ginger, let's try to play this here. Let's move up. Do I need to mark this? I like you're What was that? We were talking about whether we should look at our existing, the existing 800,000 to a million that Carrie was speaking to to vet through this equipment and use some of the existing dollars to purchase yeah. them. I, I feel like there's a general consensus to look at that. Is that right? What is the total, uh, Commissioner Kelly and I was looking at quickly, the total requested, um, it's probably at the bottom, encompassing all departments. Okay. So capital, non-capital, other, 160, 180, okay. Uh, but we would need the capital, non-capital, and the other. It's 1.172. It's 1.172. 1.172. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's with capital and non-capital. And yes. then the, there's a few, there's a little bit in the other column too. I think it's rolled down. It's a total of 1.24. 1.24. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind the amounts in that other column, a lot of those are going into different funds. Oh, okay. We pulled them out. Okay. Would you like to start at the top? Yes. I do have a question for the core on an overall feeling of the um, IT security data center, the cameras in there. I mean, I, I definitely understand the request uh, and a new model that we're moving to at the county. I think a good proactive step has been the keypad that's obviously will be quickly into place. 
And Jason, if I'm remembering correctly, these are the cameras that go into the actual data center. Is that right? Correct. Where does that really we need two or three of them. So if we want to cut that figure from 13 down to six, it will probably cover it. Six. Okay. There's our cut. There's your cut. <laughs> Instead of all together. Uh, just, okay. Two, six. Six thousand. And I think I asked this yesterday, so thank you for being patient, but you'll use the same infrastructure that the tax assessor, the same vendor, the same, right? right? Okay. All right, the same countywide. So, so uh, even if we highlight a, a, a cost it for this FY, it will not be, I guess it will basically be incumbent over to uh, the next year. So, Carrie, unless they're actually received in, they have to be received in this fiscal year. Is that right? Right. Our rules have been that they need to be received by September 30th and invoiced by October 31st to to be expensed in the year, but if, if you approve the purchase of it in this fiscal year, we can carry over the encumbrance. We, we can designate the money out of this year's budget and carry it over to next year's. Okay. We have done that for several years. And that would be just a reflection on our, uh, 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 our fund balance. Correct. And so the capital items that are requested here, capital and non-capital, um, are we all in agreement to keep all of these pieces in? Okay. Uh, and for this fiscal year, do we want, this is one that we want to try to tackle for this year? Yep. Jason, is there any concern on any of this equipment to get it received and expensed? The, uh, the Dell backup equipment, I'm a, I'll have to give it the vendor and find out. That's typically a four to six week lead time item. But if not, we'll be okay through the encumbered process. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. David, I have a quick question as um, we're allocating these for this year. I don't know if we'll mark that in the memos or the note section where what year we're getting those out of, but on the chairs, you know, there's several departments this year that have requested chairs, and I've seen so many varying amounts. Is that just re uh, the type that's requested? Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure if that's on the highest priority. No. Oh, you, I'm sorry, go ahead. As far as chairs right now, and uh, also then the equipment that, that our departments are, are needing for like fire and the uh, IT department and the uh, uh, road bridge and, and the like. Okay. No, that's here. I, well, I think this, uh, in terms of where we are today, this is a better deficit than we've seen oh, traditionally absolutely. in this stage of the game. No. So I almost feel like if we don't get the chairs for the departments this year, next year it might be a more difficult conversation. But that's my opinion. Well, you look at the overall, I guess. I'm overall, at the end. Okay. I'm, I'm more or less focused toward the, the fire apparatus. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yes. And the IT stuff, right? Yeah, I would agree. Okay. All right. And the information record management, those are different funds that's coming from, okay. We all agreed on the paper folder yesterday, is that correct? Yes. Yes. To include it in the budget? If we can. Yeah, yeah I think that's what we're kind of vetting through is which ones can be included. And I... Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. I 
We have it to fifteen hundred. And I would say the FY14 would be the same for the IT slotted items. All of them? Mm -hmm. Is that what we discussed? Yes. What was that? Did you, uh, the IT items that we, we just discussed this year, including it in this year's purchase? Yes. This one also. Yeah, I hold fast little chairs. I don't know. I'm sorry, what? What's the chair? Go ahead. No, I don't care. It's whatever you guys want to do with the chairs. Probably have to buy them, no? Mm -hmm. How and much are the chairs? 700. There's varying amounts, 750 to 900 is what we've seen. And on, on the one I have requested, I requested one this year, but we did not need one, so I didn't buy it, so I'm requesting it. Uh, we have a couple of them that are losing their pneumatic ability, so okay. I may or may not buy it. Yeah, okay, well that condition to the health of employees. So this year, Commissioner, on the yeah. budget this year? Okay. Thanks. Did we talk about those, David? The scanner and the. We did. did. I miss this. So basically just for just containment or for to transfer it. Sure, yeah. So you have a vehicle to haul that trailer? Yes. I don't want to get the trailer and say, oh, we need a vehicle. <laughs> Next year we'll ask for a vehicle. Is that it? Okay. okay. Um, do we want to mark this for this year? Yeah. Yeah. Security tax. These are the cameras we speak of, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, I think there's definitely a need. Yeah. Do we want to? This year? Are you good with this? Yeah, yeah. we're good with that. Yeah. This year, we want to mark that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, project and cameras for this year, and what Carrie stated is, even if we can't. Uh, receive them an invoice, you will encumber them on the books. So I think we'll have we'll those. Carry the funds. We'll carry the funds over from this year to next year. To next year, year. Okay. okay. So I think if we'll just earmark those for this year. Mm -hmm. And we can do that without any particular concerns with all that we're looking at, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
I think we're good with that one. And then if you want to mark yeah. it, yes, FY14. To move it to, to five thousand this year? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I'm sorry. What happened there? Did it work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <coughs> So I'm torn on the two vehicles for facilities maintenance. Um, I definitely understand the carry-all. And I'll lean to Commissioner Kelly. Well, I think the uh, two requests for the half tons are not an unreasonable request. The vehicles that they're using now are, uh, they're a sight to behold, to say the least. I think they'll be a little bit more cheaper to run than the ones that they're running on now, and uh, I don't see any issue uh, with getting these two new vehicles and the carry-on. I didn't pick up the last part of that. Uh, like I said, the vehicles that they're, they're driving now are uh, they're a sight to behold. So uh, I would not be opposed to uh, getting the two new uh, half tons along with the carry-on. And Mike, I know one of them's the 1997 that's in scope and um, the 2009. Those are the ones I circled. Is that correct? correct. And um, will you refresh my memory on the 2009? If there's, that's the one that you got from the sheriff's office. Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. Well, why did you get it from the sheriff's office? Because <laughs> it was up for auction. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. What? Hmm. Um, and Mike, did you indicate there were maintenance issues with the 2009? Will you help me understand yeah, that? There's, no. there's several issues. It, it is a four-wheel drive truck, but the four-wheel drive doesn't work. Uh, there's, there's been several mechanical things that the sheriff has allowed Brandon to work on and try to save us some money throughout the year rather than take it to the dealership, like replacing lifters within the motor and uh, it, it's just it's becoming a money pit more than anything the money could be used somewhere else for something better than a vehicle that we don't really feel comfortable taking outside of the downtown area just simply because we don't know you know when it's gonna call it quits so and what is gonna, that vehicle used for uh, like I say it just serves our downtown properties okay. you know for the guys to go back and forth between the courthouses and the, and the Santa Fe and uh, you know various jobs here and there but once we move the vehicles around if we're allowed the new vehicles then then we'll be able to really use the vehicles instead of certain vehicles going certain places uh, you mentioned earlier this is a vehicle that you'd be you wouldn't feel uh, hesitant to drive a, a new one out of town. I mean, you, you would you would certainly rather drive this one out of town than the one that you have now if you got the new one. Yeah. So. Well, I'd want to drive a new one too. Well, I, yeah, but you, I, I have a new. I'd hate to have to send a wreck around. No, that's not the issue there. So you have eight vehicles in your fleet today. Um, if these two are replaced this budget year, in terms of planning in in the future. When do you expect any of those other vehicles to come back up? Like, how far out will this take us, if uh, well, you will? Well, on, on some of the vehicles that we have, you know, moving some of the vehicles around, like the grounds maintenance truck yesterday, I had to go help those guys. Uh, and I was basically sitting on bare metal driving down the highway just simply because the seat's just so old and wore out that the foam's been removed and ripped out. And the guys just keep going. You know, they'll throw a sweatshirt down there and set on it and call it good. But... There will be some of those things that we need to pull out and swap out some seats and things like that, but that, that is definitely something that we can do within our budget. As far as to say how long these vehicles are going to last, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't approach Mike with, with another vehicle to present to you guys for the next budget or even do next two budgets for sure. So, so are the motors uh, somewhat uh, unparalleled with the uh, 
uh, the, the uh, folks that, that's inside, the seats and things of that nature, are you having some issues, serious concerns with the, the engine too? Well, no, not necessarily the engine because they are, you know, because it is a grounds maintenance vehicle that we that we use to service. The only the, the, the only time we ever have to go out to JP is is you know once a week to go out there and mow the yard, and then the rest of the time I kind of keep an eye on things like that. So, as far as the integrity of the vehicle, it's fine. It's something that we can we can make repairs out of our vehicle repair and account. So, so that one vehicle that you uh, you referenced earlier that you would have some concerns about outside of the downtown area you wouldn't uh, necessarily want to do that on a consistent basis that's one we're asking yeah about. yeah we'll get rid of that one and yeah speaking of our other vehicles, yeah yeah just we've, in yeah. general you wouldn't right. in terms yeah. of the fleet the yeah. court wouldn't be expecting anything in the next two to three years no, unless would, something unforeseen happens which right. can happen at any time we would do what we've been doing and that's swap them out with whatever's available and, and make do with what we got Okay. All right. You good? You good? Okay. Thank you. Okay. This year? I'm good. This year? Both yes. of us? Yes. That chair again. Did we skip a few, or you've just scrolled down? I'm sorry. Did we? we did we? The elections while we're oh, okay. Care All right, I just missed that slide. Okay, thank you. I think it's marked in there, and it's a, out of a special fund, if I remember right, Caroline. The, oh, no, good question. Um, we did have that kind of marked for would it be appropriate to lease it versus buy it is the note that I had. That's what I think Dave was going to share with us today about, about whether it would be more appropriate to lease it and buy it, right? That sound like Dave was uh, leaning towards leasing uh, just because of the issues that present themselves by you purchase something, you know, you got to take care of it and feed it. And, so I think the TOM is maybe Tescosa office of some type rental. Okay. So will that just be netted out and move to the copy and lease budget item? It will. Okay. And there's the chair. Are we good with that? 251st? I guess so. We guess so. <laughs> That's a confident answer. Being consistent with that. All the now all the chairs that we're referencing here, they're they're pretty much nice chairs. What? I'm sorry. They're nice chairs, they're nice chairs for nine hundred dollars, I'm sure. For this year, I think if we'll mark that. Now the laptop I did have questions on and when we started, um, Ginger Carey indicated there was an update on that. The yes, question she didn't share that with me. She didn't? No. Okay. Well, Can we flag that for when she comes back? Because we were qu questioning how old the laptop. Right. She has some notes here, but I don't know what she wants to talk about. Okay. Okay. So we'll yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah. I'll mark that. Okay. Will that also be the same for the desktop, or is that? Yeah, it was the laptop and desktop. And oh, um, Jason, just for our knowledge, because this does fall under the. CSCDIT, if I have the acronym all correctly. Um, if I understood you correctly yesterday, even though we use the VDI model, they're not on our network, so we can't put a VDI model here. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, they have separate data centers, separate servers, separate, separate but equal. But I think if we didn't approve it, it would beg the conversation that should they be in our network so that we are providing a VDI model similar to what we're moving to countywide? 
you know, these kind of one-offs, I think, continue to, to get us. So um, I don't know where, what's the best opportunity to maybe open that communication line, and or is there something already like that in existence, Jason? No, I, I think you're on the right track. Yeah. So in particular on the desktop, because we have moved countywide to a completely different platform that's $700, if I remember right, yeah. $700. Um, okay, it looks like in her notes or in the spreadsheet she has here that the desktop and uh, it looks like there's a computer here, they were all bought in 2010. 2010? Yes. What's the, the 320th? I'm sorry? For the 320th court. For the, they were bought in 2000. What's a typical, typical lifespan on a laptop? How do we replace those in-house at the county? I'm looking at Jason. I'm sorry for that. Four years. Four? Okay. I don't know. Um, I would support the laptop, but if we are going to include the desktop, I would only include the dollar amount that equates to the VDI model so that we can start having those conversations to bring them on that existing platform. So it cost us money separating them, if you will. Okay, I don't understand. What do you mean? So um, a VDI model, this is some, and Jason, I, keep me in line here because I'm sure I'll say it wrong. Uh, this was a project that was tackled last year. Normally the court would get the request for X amount of computers. We'll just say 100 computers to re be replaced, which is, was a big dollar amount in our budget every year. The new model that we're shifting to is that the computer, the desktop, does not get replaced, but the actual component. Is that right, Jason? Right. Instead of having a physical desktop that sits at, at your desk and that has all of your information, all that's stored on it, it, it resides in our data center, the, a virtual desktop. And then you just you access it either from a little box on your desk, you're still using the keyboard and mouse, or from your tablet or your laptop or your home PC or whatever. This is what you have on. Yeah, and this is what the countywide, we are moving to that rotation schedule. And um, right. we have been staging that and preparing that, and that has impacted all of our county employees and has been a significant cost savings. And what makes this conversation unique is they obviously have a different IT department and a different platform. So I would support a new desktop my recommendation would be that it should equal the dollar amount of what we would replace our own employees with, which would be either seven or eight hundred. I'm going to between six and eight hundred. Between oh, six and yeah. so even if it's eight hundred on the high end, to still support what they're requesting, but really kind of beg the conversation to bring it in house to do really follow a model we use for our own employees. So my recommendation would be to put eight hundred on the desktop, and I would support the laptop with the timeline. And then do we want to mark those for this fiscal year as well? That's kind of the general consensus. Okay. Put them on the, this 2014 until we don't. How's that? Until we don't. Until until we don't. don't. Yeah. yeah. We were going to use the laptop at 1250. Yes. Um, yeah, the laptop was staying at 1250. It was the desktop that was moving to the 800. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. That's okay. So this was an open question as well yesterday, the audio and video setup for County Court at Law 1. Well, that's one that we probably need to flag also. I'm not sure until they, they were supposed to, I think it's some information. Okay. Yeah, because we were concerned that that was a little high compared to what we paid for other setups. Yeah, and we didn't know um, if this would follow a similar model for what we will be adopting for the tax um, office and the IT department. Right. But right. I, I'm not sure what 
put them through asking for asking for security cameras or, we don't know. or is it for TV news? I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure I've heard of that. Audio visual audio video usually means a just, you know, just TV set, video players. Okay. I don't know. Um, so how many uh, are in that setup? Yeah, we, I think there's a lot of open questions on that. So we can flag that when David comes back, and if no one's prepared to speak to it, then right, let's it. take it out and move on. County Court at Law to the laptop. We had a similar question for the laptop in terms of the age. Yes, and they were purchased in 2010 also. 2010. Could we make that 1250 to make that equivalent to what we're offering to our district judges as well? I think it's right above it. Mm -hmm. One more above. And there's the chair. Um, I think it's right above it, not that line item. That was the printer. The laptop? Yes. Please. Make it 1250 so that it's equivalent to our district judges, the dollar amount on that laptop, so that they're all even. What's our thoughts on that printer? Why was that 18 that happens all the time. Different dollar amounts. I don't know about that. What's our thought on the printer? And if I remember right on uh, this one, David indicated yesterday that this dollar amount looked to be a lower scale printer. It wasn't a heavy duty printer. So, because one of the questions I think we had yesterday was why this wasn't following the Tascosa contract. Mm -hmm. For the printer or copier, and if I remember correctly, I thought he said the dollar amount of this <coughs> seems smaller in scale. Do we have any information on the printer and what they're no. trying to replace? No. No, I don't have any information on that. Um, Jason, if we did purchase a standalone printer for a department, what would be an appropriate dollar amount? Like, I don't know how in line this is, I guess. It, it, it depends on the usage of it. Are they wanting color? Are they wanting black and white? Again, these guys fall under, I'm sorry, this court falls under CSCD. Uh, so we don't, my group doesn't support them. I, I couldn't tell you what, what kind of printer it is, what they're running. All they're saying is a replacement for something. Yeah. David may have some information that when he returns. If we um, purchased a printer for our departments, and I think a typical standard would be a black, no no color printing, or just a, a black uh, printing. Black white laser printer. Yeah. Um, Four hundred dollars. Well, we like you on court and, mm -hmm. and mine. Respect that. That's that's true. That David, David could speak to when he returned. Okay. So that. Um, can I put that law? So you might want to swag that too. Then. So you want to leave that for now, and then we'll reconvene on that one and the cameras at Cordy, County Court at Law 1 when David gets here. Okay. Um, the JP1. Do you want to do anything with the chair? Uh, oh, do you uh, to leave the chair? $800. Yeah. $100 cheaper than the chair. The chair. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think we, if we can go ahead and mark the laptop and the chair for this year, and that way we know what's pending. Um, oh, I'm sorry, just a little right there. JP1. Vehicle, oh, we took, that was cut, okay. JP2, the lateral filing cabinets. Oh, Judge Boskes spoke to those yesterday. You all good with those? Those are still in the cabinets. Cabinets, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with them. We skipped over it. We did. It was cut. It was already removed on uh, both of those for JP1 in column F. Oh, 
It's already removed. That was based on the new position that was being requested? That's what the tablet was for? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. That JCM, I think Justice uh, Juvenile Court Manager was the acronym. And this year, if you can mark those 1500 for this year. And then that office setup in that vehicle split was removed as well. Why don't we, uh, we have a point right now, why don't we take a, a 20 minute okay. break, lunch break. And uh, pizza's here. We'll hold right here and then we'll return. When do y'all want to do the, uh, the uh, executive session? Yes, sir.